Okay, the last video was kind of rudely interrupted by the battery dying, um, but I think we got the first part uh, of the video. Uh, I'll try not to wash off this board until I'm sure of that. Uh, and I think we were interrupted somewhere right around the start of this problem. Um, I knew the battery was dying, um, but uh, I mean, I mean, knew, knew that it had been on long enough that that was a possibility. Anyhow, um, so again, our problem is, if this system reduces to this form, then what is the value of K? And I was commenting that, um, you know, that this is optional for the 177 students. The last 15 minutes of class is optional, but encouraged. And I think we got that. Um, so what is the value of K? Actually, it's not very well stated, as I was saying just about the time the video died. Um, the better way to have stated that would be uh, what are the possible values of K because there might be more than one. And in this case, I believe there will be. Um, so, okay, I'm just looking ahead to see what I'd actually said. Um, Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure I completely answered the question. It's implicit, but we'll get to it. Okay. Um, so, what's the value of K? Well, what are we going to do? Well, if this system reduces to this, it would be worthwhile to reduce this system to this and see what that tells us about the value of K. <coughs> so, we're going to do that. And I'm going to do it with the system rather than the augmented matrix, but I could have done it either way. You should probably write out what you would do with the augmented matrix. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and stay with the equations this time. So x plus k over 4, y equals 7 fourths, dividing the first equation by 4. That's perfectly legitimate. Second equation isn't yet changed, but now we're going to take the second equation and subtract 3 times the first, and that'll have the effect of eliminating x. So uh, we do that, and um, we get this. Okay. And just a quick explanation, uh, negative 3 times k over 4 is negative 3k over 4. Adding that, uh, so we have negative 3k over 4 times y. Adding it to negative 5y gives us what? Negative 5 minus 3k over 4 times y. Very simple. And then um, negative 3 times 27 fourths is 21 fourths. 2 is, that would be negative 21 fourths. Uh, 2 is... Um, 8 fourths, 21 and 8, and negative 21 and 8 is negative 13, so we have negative 13 fourths. Assuming I've done that correctly, check my arithmetic. Um, what do we do now? Well, we can proceed, and I did, to uh, multiply this by its reciprocal to get y, okay, because that's what happens when the system reduces down to 1 here and so forth. Uh, so we can do that. Um, we first put this over a common denominator and add it up. That's negative 20 over 4, negative 5 is negative 20 over 4, and negative 3k over 4 gives us negative 20 minus 3k over 4. And we want to put it in this form because now if we want to divide by this, well, we want to divide, at least, if we're going to divide by a fraction, we'd better divide by a simple fraction. That's what this is. Really, we're better off thinking of multiplying by the reciprocal, because if we multiply this by its reciprocal, which would be the reciprocal of this, uh, we're going to get just plain old y. And the reciprocal of this times negative 13 fourths uh, would be negative 13 times... Now, what I wrote here isn't right because um, I didn't use the reciprocal. So, uh, I didn't do it. Uh, so, th th this is actually wrong. Easy to correct. Multiply negative 13 fourths by 4 over negative 20 minus 3k and you're going to get negative 13 over negative 20 minus 3k, which is the same as 13 over 20 plus 3k. Um, however, 
haven't made that error. <coughs> uh, the idea is still okay uh, as long as it's legal to divide by this. Okay, so at this stage we say, well, yeah, that was fine, we can divide by this, but there's one number we can't divide by, and that's zero. Okay, we can't divide by zero, so this thing that we're trying to divide by can't be equal to zero. Uh, so I say it's second times this, it's actually second divided by this, uh, so I'll kind of correct that and, and, and do put the blurb on it. Um, but again, it's not valid uh, if this thing here is zero. So this can't be zero. Okay? And which means, of course, that the coefficient of y can't be zero. Because the coefficient of y is zero, you don't get a one here, you get a zero. Okay. So this can't be zero for two reasons. One is, if it's zero, you can't divide both sides of the equation by it, because division by zero is undefined. Um, and it can't be zero because, presumably, you get this form, which would have a one in front of y. And when you've got a zero in front of y, you're not going to get a one. So the question then is, the, the, the central question is, what value of k makes this zero, or what values of k make this zero? Well, we see that uh, this quantity, and I use this form of it, equals zero if 20 plus 3k, the numerator is zero. If the numerator isn't zero, the fraction isn't zero. Uh, and that's if k equals negative 20 thirds. So we can say if k equals negative 20 thirds, the system reduces to this. I didn't finish this with our last statement, which would be that uh, For k not equal to negative 20 thirds, the system will reduce to this form. In other words, to x equals something and y equals. As long as you don't get a zero here, you're okay. As long as you don't have to divide by zero, you can complete the um, reduction of the solution of the system. Okay, so this error doesn't change that fact, but I'm going to correct this error and just do a 10-second video pointing that out. <coughs> 